let us begin. So we had yesterday said that. Like GT, PT can be expressed as a Fourier series and. PT I'll directly. Write the Fourier series without. Bothering to do the math. So. PT is. 4 over pi. Cos. 2 pi FCT. Plus 4 over pi. Summation. K goes from 2 to infinity. Minus 1. To the power K minus 1. 2K minus 1. And cos 2 pi FCT. The signal XT becomes MT 4 MT by pi cos. Summation k goes from 2 to infinity minus 1 to the power k minus 1 divided by 2k minus 1 cos so into 2k minus 1 change 2 pi ct fc 2k minus 1 T. Fine, this beast. Now again, passing this through a band pass filter ST equals cos 2 pi fct and sf equals m half fine so we get Carrierless or what is called double sideband suppressed carrier. Fine, now let's talk about demodulation. For demodulation, we know that ST equals MT cos CT. Let us define
low pass filter again fine so if i make the gain of this low pass filter as 2 pass band gain 2 then so can it cover the transmitted signal. Fine. Any problems with this? Any problems with this approach? Guys? anything that uh, so this seems too simple so any thing you seem you feel that uh, you might uh, run into a problem because of that okay let me list it precisely so the problem Fine. Cos 2 pi FCT signals will have to be generated using local oscillators. Friend. At the. Modulator. And. Uh, different. phase that is can be phase difference delta between transmitter and you agree with this you guys agree with this observation come on okay good so So, ST equals MT cos T prime T equals cos T 
Einfluss Delta. So, in this case, equals mt cos mt by 2 cos delta plus cos so m hat t m t Now you can simply say that uh, we can, like we can make the gain of the filter two, we can make it one over cos delta and uh, uh, the problem is solved. But one problem is that delta is unknown. The second problem is, is out of your control. The third problem is the special case or delta close to pi by 2. So what happens when delta is close to pi by 2? Ishan? Ishan? What happens when delta is close to pi by 2? Ishan, what happens when delta is close to pi by 2? Okay. Yes. So, yeah, when delta equals pi by 2, when delta equals pi by 2, So you cannot, uh, you lose. But uh, how to get this information back? To answer that, let us look at this. So. mt or rather let s prime prime t equals st sine 2 pi fc t plus delta and m hat hat or let m check or m bar t equal low pass version low pass filtered version of s double prime t then it's easy to show that m bar t equals 
एम टी साइन डेल्टा बाई टू एंड आइडियली फॉर डेल्टा इक्वल टू जीरो एम टी एम बार टी इक्वल जीरो देर फोर वी कैन यूज द रेशो एम टी और से RT equals m bar t divided by m hat t equals sine delta by cos delta. Equals. If delta is small fine is this logic fine Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, great. So, extending this logic, so we can use a small delta. We if we use the magnitude of t by m hat t as a negative. You understand what is negative feedback? To adjust the phase of the local oscillator generating carrier signal. then can force the carrier to be in phase agreed agreed guys yes yeah so we can force the carriers to be in phase synchronism and this technique is known as the costa receiver yes receiver with There is this 
local oscillator cos 2 by fct pi by 2 phase shift sin 2 pi fct low pass filter low pass filter and this we call m hat t the two of these we feed to what we call a phase disc phase discriminator and here fine and this is called the Any problems with this structure? Sir, initially before attending the stable state, we lost some information. Uh, so, uh, yes, that happened. So we will talk about that uh, towards the end of the course. If we get time to talk about synchronization and all we'll talk about this there and if the object moves then the delta changes this is not a radar receiver moves if receiver moves yeah so those changes are minute those changes are so small that uh, say we are talking about am right so we are talking about AM and AM works for how much? Uh, AM works at 100 megahertz. So FM works at 100 megahertz, right? 88 to 108 megahertz, right? The one you receive at home. So let's approximate that AM works at 100 megahertz. So 100 megahertz means 10 to the power 8 hertz. So lambda equals three meters. Fine. So uh, and lambda by four. which is approximately a quarter of a meter or lambda by four, which is approximately, yes, so the lambda by four equals 75 centimeters. So you have to move 75 centimeters in order to move this. Now you can say that I can move a radio 75 centimeters in a mat matter of seconds. Right, Bala? OK, sir. No, I'll, you can say that uh, I can move a radio 75 centimeters in a matter of seconds. You would agree? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, thankfully, this Costa receiver and all this stuff, this works on a millisecond time scale. So by the time it the time it takes to adjust is in a few milliseconds. 
so you are safe fine and does that answer your question yes sir for higher but higher frequency higher frequency you do not use the costas receiver okay sir. higher frequency there are uh, other tricks for synchronization we will so higher frequencies are digital digital communication we'll uh, talk about it in the your, so you are ec or triple e bala ec ec so if i teach you digital communication next semester then we'll talk about it in that course if someone else teaches that then they will talk about it now we have done all this for <laughs> therefore mf is symmetric right agreed therefore sf fine so what do we so yeah what do we want to show here so the information being sent in this band is precisely the same as the information being sent in sent in this band agreed chanchu make sense since this yes is yes so and bandwidth is a precious resource so that we are wasting so the question is how do save bandwidth one make empty complex that the real and parts are different sorry so that the spectrum is symmetric the spectrum is asymmetric and we convey different one way of doing things another way of doing things is 
limit selves to just limit ourselves to just one side band so we will discuss these two techniques one by one let us discuss the first one first so let mt be composed of two parts mit and mqt with mit being the being called the in phase net and fine now st cos 2 pi fct equals this this mq and agreed low pass filtering similarly st sin Yes. Minus and low pass filtering gives you so. Actually, oh, what's 
wrong with this? Why is this not selecting? Okay, let me do it the other way. So, yeah, let's see it's, if it works. Or if it doesn't, so I'll reconstruct this signal. That will be better. Now it's. MIT there here. So here we modulate it with uh, two components or we modulate uh, modulate carrier with two components in phase quadrature and this modulation technique is called quadrature carrier This helps in, us in getting getting a, an asymmetric phase. Fine. So this helps us in getting an asymmetric phase. Next, we will look at, uh, so with this set,
fine and fine so or let me call this s o t equals real part of m plus t j 2 pi f c t equals cos minus m hat t sine 2 pi f c t right but this will only occupy half the bandwidth required by empty you agree on this if i transmit or since I have uh, discussed the art of uh, modulating complex baseband signals, if I transmit this, this will have only half the bandwidth of uh, the single carrier system or ha only half the bandwidth of uh, the modulated signal uh, mo modulated using regular AM. Agree or disagree? Gandhi, Chanshu, Nikita, Bala. Yash. Yash is here today. Sir, can you repeat the question, sir? So, uh, agree or disagree? So, if I modulate instead of XT or if instead of MT, if I simply use M plus T, that is the positive half of frequencies, if I use this for modulation, I can save half the bandwidth. You agree or disagree? We just showed this mathematically. Sir, but after modulation, it may be complex. We yeah. cannot no, 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 complex So after modulation, it's a real number, Bala. See, this is the modulated signal. The real part of M plus T to our J2 by FCT. And these are the components. This J shouldn't be there. And these are the components. This we just showed. This is a real valued signal, right? Yes. Right, Bala? Yes. So makes sense. I can save half the bandwidth. Yes. Yes. So S not T cos 2 pi F C T gives me M T by 2 plus cos 4 pi F C T minus Again, low pass filter and uh, I'll be left just with this. Fine. So, we can in the presence of perfect phase synchronization 
I can use just half the bandwidth for transmitting the signal and this technique is known as single sideband modulation or SSB. Now, but uh, why do I say phase synchronism here? Can, can we not use the Costa's receiver here? Take up a couple of minutes to think. So I'll write this down. Think. And tell me why will the Costas receiver fail in this case? This gives you For three marks overall out of hundred, I'll uh, you guys can think for a couple of minutes. I, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, maybe one minute. So, and I'll ask you. The first one to answer gets uh, this. The, the first correct answer, not the first one to answer. So think. me a couple of minutes. So any guesses? Come we on. get M yeah. of T into sine delta into sine delta plus cos delta. So what's the problem? Why cannot we use cannot a approximate as delta? Ratio cannot be approximate as delta. Why? You, you if can multiply with sine theta. Yeah. We will get a uh, M of T into something like sine, sine delta plus cos delta. With some something, constant. something sine delta plus something cos delta. M of T into sine delta plus cos delta. OK, so the problem is that uh, there will be a. So in this case, in that case, ideally. 
Bala. So I'll give you two marks, Bala. So the problem is because in that case, sine delta was supposed to be zero. Or the sine delta component was supposed to be zero. Here, uh, yeah. Here, the sine delta, the sine two pi FCT component isn't supposed to be zero. So you cannot approximate. If you even if you, there is no point where you force delta to zero. Or uh, in that case, when delta is forced to zero, that sine delta component will automatically become zero and the feedback will stop. But here the sine delta component isn't supposed to be zero, so the feedback will never stop. Make sense, Bala? Mm, sir, can you repeat this part again? Yes. So see, I'll consider a general. We'll consider general. Quadrature carrier multiplexed system with phase error. So ST equals MIT cos 2 pi FCT minus MQT or you can even say plus MQT sine 2 pi FCT. Fine. Now ST cos 2 pi FCT plus delta equals after low pass filtering. Let me do this after low pass filtering. You can do the steps because we are running out of time, so I'll skip a few steps. Now my pen has stopped responding. Batteries have run out or what? Maybe the battery, pen battery has run out. Bad luck. Anyway, I'll try. So. Pen is it's detecting the pen. Yeah. So after low pass filtering, we'll get MIT cos delta plus right. Similarly, ST sin two pi FCT plus delta. After low pass filtering will give me MIT sine delta minus oh sorry plus yes plus MQT cos delta. Right? This is what we will get. So if you look at go up and look at the negative feedback Costa receiver, I cannot uh, I do not have the luxury to go up. So if you go up and look at the negative feedback Costa receiver, the key idea here there was key idea in the Costa's receiver is to make ST cos ST sin 2 pi FCT ST cos 2 pi FCT equal to 0 since MQT 
is by default zero and when that int is zero we can say nothing is leaking into the hence phase is achieved fine yes sir. so yes this makes sense so this is why the costas receiver will fail in case of single sideband modulation and uh, quadrature carrier multiplexing so what we do instead is we use pilot signals pilots low power carrier with the Multi-carrier carrier multiplexing (QCM) and SSB signals to allow phase recovery at the receiver. How is this phase recovery performed using the pilots? This we will talk about in. when we discuss the phase lock loop in fm another way of uh, preserving bandwidth of preserving bandwidth is to bandpass filter filter the did signal only allowing for a vestige of the undesired band in the in the final signal spectrum this is known as vestigial sideband modulation and uh, since we are almost out of time and uh, you can read up vestigial sideband modulation yourself so i actually leave vestigial sideband the reading of vestigial sideband modulation as a reading assignment i leave yes i leave vestigial sideband modulation if the pen works i'll write it as a reading assignment from your book from the previous years class notes and one note has crashed fine so we stop here then and uh, we'll uh, start with amplitude mod we'll start with frequency Yeah. Any questions?
guys. Okay. Okay then. We'll uh, meet Thursday morning. And then we'll meet on Friday for the class. We'll meet Thursday morning for the tutorial. Thank you. Have a nice day. So Thursday is a holiday. Thursday is a holiday? For what? I don't know. It's marked in the calendar. Just let me see. Since you guys are here, you can possibly waste another one minute of your class time. Sections, academic. So means I can sleep in on Thursday. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, important dates and uh, academic academic calendar August to 2021 a uh, 19th is a holiday wow why is 19th a holiday maybe we'll not know but cool so we'll meet on Friday then Okay, bye all. Have a nice day.